Welcome to Greenwich Park in England. Greenwich is where the prime meridian is located. This means that Greenwich is located at longitude zero degrees. Is it important to be in possession of the prime meridian? Absolutely. Certainly if you want to be in control. Did the location of the prime meridian just emerged out of nowhere? Or was it just chosen randomly? No, it wasn't. This prime meridian holds an incredible ancient secret. Is this secret kept hidden for the masses? The odds are very high that this is indeed the case. What does the elite know, what the masses don't know? What have we discovered that secret societies like to keep hidden? Longitude is something imaginary. While latitude is a real physical property, is this not so obvious the case with longitude? The Earth rotates around its axis. One rotation takes exactly 24 hours, which is called a solar day. One hour stands for a rotational progress of 15 degrees. One nautical mile is equal to the distance passed in one minute at the equator. There are deep connections between universal constants and antique measures of length. The ratio between sea mile and land mile is close to the ratio of pi and divided by the natural logarithm e. The ratio between the sea mile and the meter is close to the ratio of pi times phi divided by the natural logarithm e. The ancient cubit can be defined as pi minus the square of phi which is 0.52356 meters. Secret societies have always been obsessed by the deep connections and patterns that emerge everywhere in nature. Most of the initiated adepts believe that having control over the invisible powers gives them control over humanity. This might be true up to a certain level, however, it gives only power over the egoic parts of humanity, and not over humanity's divine power. Indeed, if you as a human are still in your survival or reproductive and tribal mode, you are very susceptible to the powers of secret societies and the elites. Most people on this planet live on the level of the first and second chakra, and so are they sensitive to manipulation. Once and for all, and keep this in mind, secret societies only have power over you, if you don't know who and what you are. Demiurgic powers have only control over your outward-oriented egoic self. Nevertheless is a thorough understanding how the outside world is constructed crucial for your earthly development. While at the same time you need to understand that the outside world is illusionary, and so susceptible to manipulation. Longitude is something imaginary, because it requires one location to be the starting point. One location is preferred over all the other locations. While in fact, universally looking, there is no start or end point on a circle. The prime meridian is an imaginary longitudinal line that runs from the North Pole straight to the South Pole. The old Royal Observatory, which is located on Greenwich Park, lies at the prime meridian. For our die-hard fans, most of the observatory buildings on Greenwich are cardinally oriented. Cardinal orientation means that the walls of buildings are oriented to the wind directions, north, east, south, and west. This means that the building is effectively oriented to the spin axis of Mother Earth. If you examine the orientation of observatories around the world, you will discover that over 80% of them are cardinally oriented. A short introduction to our method. The method that we have discovered, and further developed, is fully mathematical and incredibly powerful. It gives us full and deep understanding over the true history of humanity. It also gives us deep insight in the behavior of the crust over the last half a million years. The so-called ice ages were no ice ages, they were deformations of the crust, mistakenly interpreted by mainstream science as changes of global temperatures. Mother Earth appears to be very well capable to control its atmospheric temperatures, but shakes its skin once in a while, during one of its periodic growing cycles. The question that we asked is this. Why is Greenwich Park so oddly oriented? We have found the answer to that. It is a profound discovery. By the way, one of my readers guided me to this discovery. The discovery is mind-boggling, and has some serious consequences for the origin of the English Empire. You hear many people talk about the elite these days and how they might be hiding things for the public. The location of Greenwich is so arbitrary that it is unlikely to be insignificant. The founders of Greenwich Park, Humphrey, Duke of Gloucester, has connections with the Knights Templars and the Regius Poem, through ancient bloodlines. The location of Greenwich Park holds a secret that occult societies like to keep hidden for the masses.
Without going too deeply into the topic of time, understanding the following is crucial. Time measurement, navigation, the quest for an international ruling time standard, stock exchanges, and the importance to be at the heart of global time, is the key to control the world. Time on other locations around the world are often expressed relative to GMT, Greenwich Mean Time, in terms of plus or minus hours. In fact, any country could claim the zero time zone as the international standard, but it would not be accepted by the others. It is because the Brits controlled the world for a while they could pull this off. On top of that, the foundations of the Freemason Society, stems from England. London is still one of the leading financial capitals of the world. And this is partially because of their, control, over time. Control over the financial world is one thing. Having control over the paradigm of the mainstream science and the ideas of the masses is another thing. There is no financial control possible over the masses without controlling their ideas and belief systems. Making you believe that you are the offspring from barbaric, underdeveloped, hunter-gatherers is important to keep you in the dark about your real roots and your real history. Knowing that you are a child of highly developed species is a game-changer for your further development and your further search for the truth. The ultimate truth is that your inner essence is divine, and so that you are a god in the making. What is there to find at Greenwich Park that is kept hidden for the masses? There are little to no historical facts about Greenwich Park before the 15th century. It is said that the history of the park started when the Romans built a temple on the high ground overlooking the Thames. We already know that the Romans were champions in building their temples on older foundations. The Romans were also champions in wiping out as much traces as possible of ancient civilizations that came before them. The first important thing that we noticed is the orientation of Greenwich Park. We already explained how Stonehenge worked, and in fact Greenwich Park works in a similar way. Only to another pole, Pole 3. Greenwich Park appears to be a massive measuring device for determining the solstices during Pole 3, and therefore determining the seasons with high precision. The main orientation of Greenwich Park is to Pole 3. The probability for this orientation to be coincidental is 11.6%. That means that the orientation to Pole 3 was probably intentional, with a likelihood of 88.4%. But we discovered more special features, which I will explain later on. First this, the question that could asked is this. Was it possible that the Romans used a primitive compass to find north and so oriented this park to a roughly determined magnetic north pole? That could be a possibility, which we examined as well, in order to eliminate this, or not. We have compared the position of the magnetic pole between OAD and 400 AD and true north. The conclusion is that the magnetic pole was, as seen from England, very close, plus or minus 2 degrees, to true north. So, the orientation of the park is definitely not the result of a compass reading in ancient times. Nor is the park oriented to a solstice direction. The probability of 88.4% that the park is oriented towards pole 3 keeps intact, and thus that this ancient structure is originally built by a very ancient lost civilization. We now go dig deeper into special features of this park. The main walkway of the park is oriented to pole 3. Did you notice the sideways that we show here? When we back engineer the situation during pole 3, we find that the latitude on which this park is located was quite different. If it is true that the park was built during Pole 3, its latitude would have been at 61.1 degrees. Today it is located at 51.5 degrees. Another climate, another latitude, and other sea levels. People could walk from nowadays England to the mainland due a much lower sea level. Another latitude means another solstice angle. If our claim would be true, we must find these solstice angles within a certain margin of error in the construction, since we claim it is an ancient device for measuring the seasons. Without boring you too much with all the details, we found that all the sideways were falling within a certain margin of error. That means that they were oriented to the ancient solstices of Pole 3.
With this new discovery we have pushed our claim up to a probability of 98% that Greenwich Park originally dates back to Pole 3. That means that the original construction is between 210,000 and 225,000 years old with a probability of 98%. The question that we asked ourselves is this. Does the occult secret elite, who were so eager to claim this location as the global basis of time, know about this but keep it secret? I personally think that this choice, to put GMT of all places right there at Greenwich, was not coincidental. The occult traditions have always preferred some locations over others. Locations with a special energy, or special history, or special vibrations. Their choice might have been a mix of strategical and spiritual. The highest degrees of the Freemasons are certainly up to some point aware of our true ancient history. And I am sure that they deliberately keep this a secret. The discoveries that we have made, however, with our highly abstract method, is beyond what the Freemasons really know. Are they keeping the masses in the dark? Sure. But we are now, thanks to our method, light years ahead of what these organizations really know about our true ancient origins. Thank you for watching.